Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad Education and welcome back to What's the Output video series on C programming language. So just like the previous tutorials, you guys can pause this movie and take a look at the source code which is here in the editor and try to guess the output of the program. Once you guys have an answer, just click on the play button. I'm gonna run the program and explain the output. Alright, now I guess you guys have an answer for this program. I'm gonna build and run this. So uh, it's gonna be build and run. And the answer for this program is gonna be yes. So now why the heck we're gonna get the output as yes. So here in this program we have two variables x and y and we have initialized them with a value of minus one. And then we have used the if statement and in the condition part we have used plus plus x equal to this is the comparison operator plus plus y. And here we are using this increment operators in the prefix form. And when we come to this expression here, the uh, increment operators have the higher precedence over the comparison operator. So they're going to be executed first. And here both this x and y are containing a value of minus one. And since we are using this increment operators in the prefix form, they're going to be incremented and then they will be used in the expression. So both x and y are going to contain zero after the incrementation. So it's going to be like if zero equal to zero here equal to is going to be the comparison operator and uh, this comparison operators are going to produce either true or false, you know, zero for false and non-zero value for true. So since zero is equal to zero, it's going to produce true and that's why our if condition is going to satisfy and we're going to execute the statements which are inside the if block. So we're going to execute yes. So that's why you know we got this result S in this program. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check out my website learninglad.com for more tutorials and also like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash learninglad and I'll see you in the next tutorial.